Good morning. Welcome to Crafting with Victoria Clark. We are now currently live. If you see the red live button, if you're coming in on the replay, please put in hashtag replay. Let us know that you were here. And by us, I mean me and Babe, aka Ricky, my husband. Um, yeah, because if we don't see if we don't see you push hashtag replay, we don't know that you're here. I'm gonna get us sprinkled out a bit. And happy November one, two, three. <laughs> we're gonna work on an ornament and we're gonna work on, well, how come it's it's not refreshing? We're gonna work on an ornament and we're gonna work on some earrings. Okay, there we are. Now we can get you going. And we can share that right out there. And we thank you guys so much for sharing. Even you guys that do the replays, you do such a great job in sharing us out there. It really helps to um, get people to be able to get to know us. And it's amazing. So thank you so much. We're going to go down to Create with Mama Jerry. That's an amazing group to go into. Gretchen's Friends on the Loop, Crafters Lives, Loretta's Crafters Lives. We went to Thoughts to Treasures, Crafty Friends, Deb's Craft Corner Group, Hey Jude's Crafty Friends, and the VC Video Vault. How's all that? So let me get this. Oh, you know what I forgot, you guys? I forgot to put in Telegram. So let me hop onto Telegram real quick. Because there's no sense in having Telegram if I don't let people know that we're live. <clears throat> we are live now. <laughs> Come on in. Be a lag, like a huge lag, like hours, if not days, of telling us when people are live. So I have the link to my telegram on my page i'm pretty sure that it is linked i can't check that right now though because it's i've got too many things with facebook open already so let me get this there is a wicked lag i'm going to delete this comment get it out of the way if I block user, do I block myself? There we go. So these are the little Santa earrings that we're going to work on today. They are so adorable. I mean, I thought they were on the large side for lard. Did I say lard? Large. Large side for earrings, but... They're earrings, so we're going to decorate them up and we're going to put some findings on them, you know, the little things that you get. Debbie's saying she doesn't get notifications at all. Did she just put, the, where did that come up from? I'm live now, Deb, I'm live now. She's telling me she gets no notifications. Hold, please. I'm live. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, because I could see Deb say something about notifications. So I wanted to see what she was saying. And there seems to be a really big lag on here today. So maybe nobody are going to find us today and it'll be all replays. And that's perfectly all right. Hi, Weezer. <laughs> I told Babe yesterday we're driving in the car and I was like, that's okay. I can entertain my own self. Because, <laughs> you know, he's the strong silent type and he wasn't saying a whole lot. So where's my, evidently I don't have an apron today. This will be the day that I get all the disgusting everything on me. How are you, Weezer? Weezer, do you need projects to keep you busy since you can't get moving around? Me and Babe can do that. Huh, Babe? Mm -hmm. She is like stuck. Kind of like a turtle on its back, but different. Huh, Weezer? <laughs> I, I sure hope your 
I sure hope you're laughing with me, friend, because it's all in good fun. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of black. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? Yep. I'm going to take a little bit of black. And I'm going to paint the back sides of these. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to make these glossy. You guys will have to help me decide because I'm just not sure if I want them glossy or not. But I do want the back sides painted and I want them sealed really well because I don't want moisture or anything causing, you know, a bubble in the paint over time. So we've got the back side of his little body painted. I mean, they're adorable to have the Santa legs hanging out of the chimney. I was like, woohoo, those are cute. <laughs> Yay, getting your new paints today. That's going to be exciting. Well, ordering them, it'll be even more exciting when you get them. Awesome. Good morning, Connie Hall. How are you, girlfriend? How is things? Oh, I'm spattering. Hi, Doris. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, my friend. Wow, I'm spattering all over the place. If I wanted to spatter that easy, it would give me a hard time. You guys see all the pepper prints all over my plate? I don't have my little light turned on, but so far it seems like it's okay. I gotta remember to keep my hands where... Keep my hands where you can see them. Here we go. So guys, I have pom-poms going on to make a fall. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right in the freaking eye. Excuse my language, everybody. <laughs> Babe just squirted the dogs and he squirt me right in the eye. <laughs> Sorry, friends. <laughs> oh, couldn't have done that if he was trying. That was just a fluke. Oh. Hey, Deb. <laughs> just in time, Deb. <laughs> Walk in and get sworn at. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sheepers. Guys, I tried to put the picture of what I'm going to paint next onto a slide to be able to show you during this live <laughs> yeah you guys laugh i'd be la i'll be laughing too later right now i'm still trying to readjust the unexpected eye rinse that i just got and he's way across the room how many feet away from me are you about 15 feet away and he got me dead center in the eye <laughs> Good morning, Sheila Zenker from Indiana. Welcome in. I hope you enjoy what you see today. I hope you give us a like and a follow. Right now, we're just painting up the backs of these little Santa Claus. Yep, I'm going to get myself covered in paint. These little Santa Claus earrings. So when they're hanging in our ears, they're going to look upside down Santa sticking out of a chimney. Now, let's see if I can adjust the camera just a little bit without dropping it. There we go. I didn't want to have to keep holding my hands sideways. And now they're over here where they should be. So let me give that a little dry. <laughs> I have tough skin too, tough and wrinkly like an elephant. <laughs> Ooh, that's hot. So guys, I brought out one of my very first paintings. Well, I say one of my very first, but one of my first few. It was um, the 10th painting ever that I did. And I brought it out to show you guys, to show you it's just a matter of practice. And your skills grow and evolve over time. The more you do it, the more it grows. Here we go. We'll show it to you. Oh, this was number 10 back in 2019. Now, I would not paint the same painting like this now, like I did back then, 
back then I loved this. Now I look at it and go, oh, I can see a lot of things that I could have done a lot differently. But at that time, I used the skills that I had to do what I knew. And this is what I came up with. So I saved this one. I didn't save a bunch of the other ones. I only saved this one. I did, I numbered 20 of them. So the first 20 that I did, I put numbers on them. And over time, they've all gone away except for this one. And my daughter, I think, has a couple of them. Maybe. And my sister might have a one or two. Well, good morning, Andrea Hudson. Welcome, welcome. Always nice to see new friends come in and meet our regular friends. Okay, so these guys are dry. We're going to flip them back over. And we're going to get some red. Get the red paint out. We want a nice bright red. Candy apple. I don't know as I like the candy apple. The candy apple is kind of... Kind of see-through, but that one's a multi-surface. Maybe that would be different. I would like to know where my lipstick red went. That's my favorite red. We'll use cardinal red. No, that's too dark. Cardinal red is too dark. We'll stick with the candy apple red. My lipstick red is my favorite, and I haven't seen it in eons. Oh, thank you, Weezer. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, you've been following me for 539 days. That's amazing. How come I don't recognize your name? I'm so sorry. Are you a silent watcher usually? You have been here for a while. See, on my um, on StreamYard, it doesn't show me the the exclamation points. Thank you, Sheila. 539 days. That's awesome. And then 66 days. I love it when you guys press those so I can see what you're doing. Three hundred and fifty days, Weezer. All right, let's get some red. Now I'm gonna use a little paintbrush. This is the only drawback to the to the uh, earrings, guys, is you're gonna have to use little little brushes. Now why can I? Oh, I gotta like really get over here. Is that blurry, you guys, or can you see? So I'm just gonna go in and paint my little bricks. So not a ton of paint on your brush because these itty bitty little bricks are so tiny. Like, and you can do your bricks all kinds of different ways, you guys. And you know, this is where the whole artistry comes in for doing some of these wood kits that you can do. It's um, you can put some rusty brown in here. You can make it look like aged bricks. And as you can see, I hope. There's little lines in between these bricks and we can outline those in either gray or black. I want mine to look bright. So I'm gonna go, and since I'm gonna be outlining, I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it and just paint right across the whole tops of those. Hey, I'm echoing. There's an echo in the house. I was just getting a message from Marsha too, asking about her ornament exchange. Has everybody checked out Marsha's ornament exchange that she's got going on on her page? The crafty girl, Marsha. She's got all kinds of info about it. And I think it's getting ready to be closed up, like close to being no more entries. And then the ornament that we do today, guys, we're gonna put the hashtag one ornament a day November for Miss Carol Ruth because she had put out the challenge that everybody do one ornament a day through the month of November and then just post it anywhere no matter where you post it just put the hashtag one ornament a day November and then when people put it in the search feature they'll be able to see it easy peasy Deb you're fine Deb you're fine 
you are a-okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You never know. If you leave, you might not make it back. <laughs> That's how I'm looking at it. <laughs> You're here in the building. I'm happy to have you. All right, let's get his little black boots going. Now, typically, guys, I would be a gold, I mean, not a gold, a silver findings person. But either I have used all my silver findings or I have hidden them on myself. You know, game I like to play quite often is hide the products from yourself. Keeps me busy searching. Would you guys do this part of the brick black since we're going to do black in the middles of the thing? Mary. Oh, you guys can see the ornament. Look at it. You guys see it sitting here? <laughs> so my sister is off today, but I don't think she knows that we're live. Oh, you think cement color, Weezer? <laughs> Just as I start. <laughs> you got to type faster, friend. Faster. All right. Let me get some more. <laughs> You guys, you know I love giving you a hard time. It makes my day to get on here and be able to joke with you guys. Ugh. And it gives Babe a break. So <laughs> he's not the only one getting picked on constantly. He's got me enough hours of the day. Ready? Here we go. Sunshine. Ah, bright light. You're old. <laughs> oh, Weezer. You're not, you're not much older than me, are you, if even at all? I mean, I'm old too. <laughs> Maybe not in chronological years, like what some of us would be considered old, but, you know, just as I'm sure you did too, I lived a lot in my younger years. <laughs> That ages us too. See, you're 62. I'm 54. I have to pause and look at Babe. Uh, and Babe is 57. So we're, we're right there with you. Right there with you. We're going to hear, we're going to hear Deb's age in a minute. Okay, let's get a cement color. Nice gray cement color. Mix some black and some white. Right, Weezer? And it adds up. It does. Hey, there's my sister, Dawn. Dawn, we're making some earrings. I had just said, were you were you hearing things? Were you like ears buzzing? Because I had just said, my sister Dawn is off today, but she's not in here. She mustn't know that I'm live. Here we go. Guys, why didn't I do two at a time? Why, why, why? Earrings are fun. Yeah, what is old? Just came inside. Same age, but I'm only old a few days a week. There you go. Right, lots of living in the younger years. You know, and I happen to know Miss Debbie Tyler did too. <laughs> It is cold out, Dawn. It is so cold. So chilly. Yep, it's spitting snow here too. Okay, let's get his little white pant spots on. These are just fun earrings, you guys. They're super lightweight. They're on eighth inch wood. And they're just fun holiday Ring, ding, ding. Did you guys all see it's November one, two, three today? I know we are right, right? Because you had me distracted. You, you, you typed late and <laughs> got that cement answer in there after the, after the buzzer. Uh, no. So here we go with one. We still got to outline the little lines. Yes. Cocoa time. 
absolutely Aurora worthy. Say that five times fast. So I think these are going to look best if we do put a shine on them guys versus a matte. I think shiny would look better, but I don't know. What's your opinions? Okay, so now we've got to have the glasses on and squint. I'm not going to hit every single one of the lines in here. I'm just going to do it every once in a while to make these bricks stand out. I've got some really watered down black that's just only on the tip of this brush. And this brush is a number six round. It doesn't feel like a number six round. It feels like a number two round, but the number says it's a six. I'm going to do it all the way on the stripe underneath the cement, though. Do a few of the cross ones. See, you guys, if you all stick around long enough and hang out, I will find things to let you participate in the blame on. Treat you just like family. <laughs> there. What do you guys think of that? So see, it's not every single brick. 13 years ago today, you got your house. Happy gotcha day, Weezer. Now we're going to go off pattern a little bit, you know, because that's what we do around here. And we're going to paint some snow onto here. Spread it all the way across. So it's a snow-capped chimney. There you are. Aren't they fun? And it'll have time to dry before we put um, the findings on. So now let's go ahead and do the black boots on these guys. Like a little human assembly machine here. They're adorable, right? Miss Sheila, how have you been? Do you guys want to see a painting that I want to do with you guys? You guys want to see a picture? It's an AI picture that was seen, spotted. I showed it to my sister last night. And she said, oh, how cute. And that's all the encouragement that I needed to put it in the lineup. All right. Let me show you. I can just. Oh, how do I show you, though? Oh, man, I don't have a, <laughs> I don't have a way to flip this camera to show you guys. Me too, Sheila. I'm I mean, I was bummed that I was just I was too tired last night. And I, I just couldn't, couldn't do it. So now that I teased you guys with it, I don't have a way to put it up there. Let me see if I can just, I'll just upload it onto my Facebook page. We will upload it. Got to find it. All done. Two seconds. I had just downloaded a bunch of pictures too, so it's in the mix. There. Wow, the internet is slow today. There it goes. All right, it's on my page. It is one of those ones that I found on, on the AI images. What is the big problem that you have, Sheila? Your paintings come out awesome. Is it finding the time? Because I, I know you get busy. Things to do, places to go, work to be had, all that good stuff. And then get all the cement colored in. 
Rinse the brush again. So there's lots of lag time going on, guys. We can see it. Then we'll paint in his little pantaloons. Tired, babe. If everybody brought your coffee, don't forget to drink your coffee. Friends, don't let friends get their coffee cold. Oh, you want to, <laughs> that's the problem. Yes, as you're painting and getting towards one painting, then you're wanting to get immediately onto another one. I totally get it. Totally get it. Once you feel like that one's all done, it's done. Me too, but not quick enough, Weezer. It's getting cold. Don, you got your cocoa? Deb, you got your coffee? I'm guessing mother is not awake this morning. Get his little pants on all of these. See, yours isn't getting cold. Why does mine get cold? No, 62 is not old. I totally agree with you. Doris. Now, back when I was 20, I thought 60 was old, but I certainly don't think it now that I'm 54. All the way across your bricks. Coffee. Do you drink coffee, Deb, or tea? Why am I just spacing on that? I'm pretty sure you drink coffee. Is it limited? Do you have to limit your coffee? I thought there was something about coffee in you. Your body is older than me. You Did you guys see that, that poem or that story, whatever you want to call it, the little short story about the old woman who asked how it felt to be old? It was a really good read, so I shared it. You know, it's longer than your typical paragraph, but it was really cool because she said, in my head, I, I haven't gotten old. I'm still the same girl that I always have been. And she went on to explain it. And it's so cool. I, and, you know, she referenced like, I've seen my body grow old, but my soul and my spirit is still the young girl that I've always been. Good morning, Grace Mancioni. We're making Santa Claus earrings like this little guy. Whoops, where is he? Come on, focus. There we go. Little snowmen's, not snowmen's, little Santa Clauses. It was a really cool one, Weezer. You know how some of those little things, you read them and you kind of go, ha, that, that was cool, yeah. But some of them, you literally have to share them because it was so much. Yeah, Grace. Exactly. That's how people end up in the ER because they think they can still do a, <laughs> do like a cartwheel. <laughs> have you ever seen a person in their 50s or 40s for that matter that think they can still do a cartwheel, try to do one and it's it turns out that it was a lie they can't still do a cartwheel <laughs> i mean not funny that they get hurt but the whole thought process behind it is like oh yeah you just do this and i'll bet you nine times out of ten alcohol is involved or something now i'm going to use my little my little little brush again in the white and I'm going to put just some little white highlights on this guy. And I'm going to put a little white highlight on his shoes going down one of his pant legs. So copy it all on the others so they look uniform. Matchy matchy earrings on his pant leg. Now 
And then don't forget, you got to take your black and do some of the. <laughs> oh, Grace, I've never been able to run up bleachers. I'm so scared of heights. I can't even get to the top of the bleachers without holding on to somebody. And nowadays, I don't even know if I could make it all the way up to the top bleachers. I don't know. But I'm fine with sitting at the bottom where I can move on my own and not have to hold on to someone because I hate heights. Always have. Outlining some of my little bricks, but not every single one, just a few. So... How many people think that November 1st is official put up your Christmas tree day? Some of the bricks here, some of the bricks here. Hi, Mary T. How are you? Good to see you. I saw the painting your husband did of the Tasmanian devil. Boy, that was cool, huh? Fill in some of these gaps, do some of these cracks, and then get the white going again. Oh my God, Don, like out, like out of the pan, like out of the, out? Yes, he is. Don, that's scary. Sheila, today counts. We have had spitting snow all day. Oh, no. Don, you cannot do a cartwheel. I hate to bust your bubble, but you cannot do a cartwheel. You're either going to break your finger again or you're going to break your knee. <laughs> but, oh, my God, how? How did he get out? You guys just got a new charger for the fence. That's scary. That sucks that that happened. I'm sure that got your heart pumping. So Cyrus is a horse, you guys. And not just any old horse. He is a very headstrong, strong horse. <laughs> oh, you put him up on the 22nd for your son's birthday. That's awesome. That's a good reason to wait. Oh, Mary Tayo, prayers, friend. Prayers, it all goes good. Oh, busted chargers. Crap. Just what you need. So Dawn's, Dawn's knee is on the fritz, and she's been trying to not walk on it as much as possible. And then to find some issues going on with the fence. But, oh, my God, that's going to have to be taken care of now that he knows he can get out, right? Crappers. And now more insulators. Oh, good. He was probably like, crap, crap, how did I get out here? <laughs> Put me in, Mama. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> crap. And, of course, you know, once the horse gets out, it's just like when your car battery dies one time. Every time you go to start that car, you wait to see if it's going to start until you trust it again. Well, now it's going to be every time you turn around, you're going to be looking to make sure he's still in that field. You have blood work this morning to check your potassium. Well, prayers that it comes back all good. And you keep one foot towards the door, Weezer, or they just might decide to keep you again. <laughs> Shut him in so that you can go out. Does he do good shut in? And that's not bad, as long as he's not a puke about being shut in. Either way. Hey, Mom! Hello, hello, computer. That's what I was thinking, that the computer was giving you a hard time. 
We're making little snowman earrings, little Santas. I'm sorry, Santas, Santas. <laughs> Thought that might get you, Weezer. Thought it might get you. Well, that's good that he's good about being in. That's a plus. So we're going to dry these up. And I do believe we will polyurethane them. In the meantime, we will get out our little get out our little findings. And like I said, guys, I'm usually more of a um, I like silver, but all of my jump rings are gold, so we're gonna go with gold. One, two, three, four. And I left the round one in the back with the jump rings in it. I thought they were all in one container, but I was moving around looking. So hold on, guys. Hold on. BRB. BRB. Want to sing a song, babe? Mm -hmm. So while I'm up, I may as well heat up my coffee, right? Coffee. 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 And where's the diamond dust? Because we're going to need it for that. We're going to need it for that thing. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Oh, snag. Plug me back in. Here we are. Heated up coffee. What I miss? What I miss? Good morning, Vicki Israel. How are you? Good morning, good morning. Marco, you're freezing. Pella stove is going yay. Or it's close to bed for you, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't risk it either. That'd be scary. Yeah. Every single time. So I'm going to take, I wish that I had and see, I didn't keep them together because I lost the top of my round thing. Can you believe it? Me, of all people, lost something. So I lost the top of that. And once I lost the top, I wasn't able to, you know, keep all my ducks in a row. Typical, typical for me. So I'm going to take one of the larger jump rings. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but when your jump ring is off center like this at the top, whoops, where'd it go? Right there. When it's off center like that, when you take it apart to put it onto a piece of jewelry, when you slide it back to be back together, it clicks when it's in the right spot. So we're going to put it through his little foot. Ah, he wasn't all the way dry. 
put it through his little foot, make sure that the hanger is going to go on correctly, put it on the little hanger, and then twist it back together and listen for the click. And pray that your glasses are strong enough to see what you're doing. So then there's one cute little adorable earring. He's out there laying down now. The jump ring, Don. The little, these little rings are called the jump ring. These little rings for the jewelry findings. And where they split, there's a little catch when you put them back together they'll click back into place and i left my other small my other small um jewelry pliers in the back so i'm using these big old honking things is that gonna hang right yeah which aren't ideal but you can make it work there's two Two cute little Santa earrings. Ah, ha, ha. Separate it. Toss your little Santa on it. Make sure your French hoop is facing the right way. And snap it back together. I will fiddle faddle with those more after the fact. Are they so adorable? And these are the little, the little French, French hook earring things. They're all in the findings section, guys. Whether it's you can get them in the jewelry department, you can get them in the craft department, and you know they'll have your nickel free and higher end ones in the jewelry department where you can get the more expensive styles and for the most part always look for the ones that say that they're nickel free because that if it doesn't say that it's going to be more apt to bother people's ear or look for the ones that say hypoallergenic so now we've got two cute little pairs of earrings. Now, is there a right and a left? Would you guys say, like if you hang that in this ear and that, and this, I guess it's all the same. And then you spill over all your little loops. This is better than pickup sticks. Oh, you forgot to do dad's, give them, thingy i haven't either weezer because it's so hard to see the stinking small pieces i have a whole bag full out back that i have made but then that's where i stopped because i was having such a hard time seeing anything with it but i will get back into it i'm sure and still have tons of stuff to do it with. It's just a matter of being able to see to do it. Like I know that these little jump rings aren't 100% lined up, but I'll fiddle faddle with that after. There, get those picked up, set these down. And then go back to the little drawing board here. Is it way on the other side? My polyurethane. It's always moving. Always moving. So now that it's got the little hooks on there, I can just hang these little guys as they get done. When did you see dad? I haven't seen dad. 
like I would run into him on a store down here, right? Well, he probably gave himself a good little run. Did you see evidence of um, his honking big hooves dug into the ground out there? See little divots of earth <laughs> thrown around? Okay, I'm going to hold on to this. I don't want this to pool near his foot, so I'm going to be careful not to get too much up by that little hole. I don't want that getting all clogged up and gross looking. But once he's sealed, I'll hang him, let him dry. And his color is going to be so much more vibrant with the polyurethane on there. And I'm going to seal all the way around the edge because I don't want moisture to get in there. Do the back side. And by the end of it, I'll probably give this two coats of poly. And of course, the little spots where my fingers are sitting, I can't put anything right there at the moment. So see how much brighter he got now that he's been painted. And I'll just take his little earring hook. I'll hang him right over here off the side of the computer and let him dry. You see, <laughs> he sure left poop, huh? <laughs> oh, Cyrus. Do I even have my hands where you guys can see? I just love how putting the clear coats on anything that you've painted with acrylic makes the color come back so much better because it looks so flat after it dries. This and this. And then after these guys are done, guys, we'll do the ornaments. We'll probably do a couple. One of them is going to be so easy that it'll only take a minute or two. And I certainly have ornaments to do an ornament a day for probably the year, let alone the month of November. Don, are you going to do that challenge? An ornament a day, November? How about everybody else? Okay, and then we're going to hang him up. I'll hang him from the tip of my blowtorch. <laughs> no, Weezer, it's um, it's self-leveling. So just like when you use a brush, even a soft brush, when you're putting this stuff on a painting to seal it instead of a spray, it's self-leveling. So as long as you don't really muck it on there thick, it's great. Good morning, Teresa. Who's holding it? Um, Carol Rose Creation Station wanted to do it, but it's not like a, um, it's not like a formal thing that you have to sign up for or anything like that. She just wanted people to, you know, join the challenge, make an ornament a day, post it wherever you do. Just make sure you post hashtag one ornament a day November. Yes. And then that way, when anybody puts in the search bar, hashtag one ornament a day November, everybody can see all the beautiful ornaments. Thank you, babe. Going back to bed. That's an exchange, Deb. That's different. So, Sheila, you're going to do it. That's fun. How are you this morning, Teresa? So that's different, Debbie. That's the exchange. This one is, like I was just saying, you don't sign up for it. It's not like an official thing. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't sign up officially. 
It's just you make one ornament every day through the month of November. And then when you post it, you post it anywhere you want. There's not like a designated spot for it. You just make sure to type hashtag one ornament a day November. All smushed together, no spaces. So then everyone can type hashtag one ornament a day November into the search bar and everybody gets to see all the beautiful ornaments that everybody's making. So it's nothing official. You don't have to send anything out anywhere. It doesn't have to be a certain type of ornament. It's just whatever you enjoy making and then just post it for others to enjoy too. And that is the challenge that Miss Carol Ruth put out there. You post it anywhere, Don. You just post it on, on your Facebook and just make sure to put that hashtag with it in the description and it'll show up, you know, as long as you've made it public. Some people have their pages private, but you could post it in a group if your page is private. Like if your profile is private, you could post it in a group and put hashtag in a public group, put hashtag one ornament a day November. Be very specific, please. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. So, yep, if your personal page is private, go to one of the public groups that you're a member of. You know, like mine, you guys are members in my group. It's a public group. You can post it in there and put hashtag one ornament a day, November. Me too. Oh, that's awesome, Teresa. She says, great, can't stay long. Having lunch with my friend to plan our Christmas get together. We've been friends over 50 years, just five of us girls. We do this every year. That is amazing. That is such a fun thing to do with old friends. That's awesome. Okay, one more to go, guys, and then we'll start an ornament. Ornament. Weezer, is it mostly your knee that you got? Is it still all swollen and stuff? You and Dawn need to wrap you both up. I don't know if mom is still here or if she's gone to bed or if her computer has booted her. I bet you're probably lucky you didn't have a freaking heart attack. Spread this all around. So Weezer, we'll take a good close look at these after they're dry and we'll see if we can see any uh, brush strokes, but you shouldn't be able to. And there's little divots in this guy, like little, little cracks, you know, like on purpose lines. So make sure that it doesn't pool in those places. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're going to think I'm crazy. I was telling my sister this last night. Do you have any cabbage? That was a loaded question. <laughs> Put it where? <laughs> Good morning, Heather Lynn. A new to you Dollar Tree, spending way too much money. It's so big compared to the one I used. Isn't it fun to go into a new one? Well, bummer. I mean, I know not everybody has cabbage just kicking around in their fridge, right? But you never know. Never hurts to ask a person, hey, you got cabbage? Like the real cabbage, not the spendable cabbage? But kids call it nowadays. There. Now we've got little Santas hanging from everywhere. Put the cap back on your polyacrylic. So I wonder if that would do it. Now, wait a minute, Weezer. Aren't you putting vinyl on your keychains? 
Go eat, get down. Forgot, keep an eye on the gooey man. Now he's trying to make puppies and he's understanding how to do it, but now daddy doesn't want puppies. All right, let's move this stuff. Maple leaves, maple leaves, I know. Everybody needs to invest in maple leaves. That's all there is to it. Okay, so we're going to take this ornament. Here's our ornament of the day. Da -da 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 -da. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, okay. So you made water slides. What language was what? <laughs> I don't know anything about water slides. What language was what, Mom? What happened? <laughs> Yelling at gooey and gibberish? <laughs> All right, which side do we want? We're going to actually paint both sides. So this has so many little parts to it getting after the dog blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you used to hear me go after yaya -ya. <laughs> had all kinds of languages coming out when she'd be being stubborn <laughs> she'd sit across the yard and i'd call to her and she'd sit and look at me she'd wait until i get halfway to her sweeping my arm towards the house going get in the house blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh cool that's cool. So it's, it's, is it kind of sort of like paint? I saw you ask somebody on a live if they, if it was a water slide and I wasn't quite sure what a water slide was other than, you know, I don't go down. <laughs> yes. Yes. When it gets going far enough. Yes. So get all your surface covered and then dry it. Gooey, behave. Gooey! <laughs> you can hear them both running up and down the hall. Where she goes, he goes. Take a drink. I'm always just out of range of this damn thing. There. Dry it up, folks. Dry it up. Ah. You're okay, Lola. Did you lock Lola out of the bedroom? Well, she's very sad. Oh, really? See, I wouldn't have known. I would have thought that it was either paint or vinyl. I wouldn't have known the difference. Well, see that? Lola, come on, come out here. Come on. So daddy's not sharing space today. Gooey's being mean to Lola. Lola goes near Sky and he's getting like very possessive of Sky right now because of her heat. And it's breaking Lola's heart because Gooey is normally all about Lola. Dry this one. Look how beautiful that is, you guys. It'll look even better once we put it up against the... Once we put it up against the black. But before we do that, we have to move this plate out of the way. Don't spill everything again, Vicky. Our handy dandy little tray with all kinds of little extras in it. 
Gooey, what do you got? Spill out some diamond dust. Probably, Weezer. I bet. Is that my diamond dust? Yes. I was like, what on earth is it doing? So I have that other stuff for putting on the round balls. The this big chunky stuff, do you guys remember? Look at that. Look at how it dried. It's so pretty. But that stuff is too big and bulky for a little ornament like this. I'm going to bring my poly acrylic back over. Excuse me while I'm hiccuping my Red Bull. Take my cap back off. Lightly paint. Try not to get it all gooped in your edges, guys, because if you get it gooped in your edges, it's not going to be cool. I love shiny too, Sheila. I really, really do. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that shiny yet, though. So don't be having the polyacrylic dripping off your brush when you go to do one of these kind, guys, because it'll make a mess. It'll just get all inside your spaces, kind of like beach sand and bathing suits. <laughs> It'll go places you don't want it to go. <laughs> I don't know why on earth I have to be this way. Anyhow, guys, drink your coffee. <laughs> Move your ornament around. It's okay, Dawn. It was, um, <laughs> dang, Finn. I just put some polyacrylic on this. A lot of times I'll use uh, Mod Podge, but this time I did polyacrylic and just let it dry. Now I have my little container over here. Somewhere over the rainbow with my hangers. Nope. I do have it out here though. I know I do. I was just using it as a matter of fact. There it is. There it is. So I've got my little container. I had gotten these little strings for ornaments off of Amazon last year. I got a package each of the silver and the gold. And it's fun because they just kind of hook together. So you've got your little end here, if that'll focus. Can you guys see that little plastic end? It's like a bell shape and then a ball shape. And they just hook together so easy. Put it through any hole of the ornament. Hooky it together. And here is our first ornament can you guys see the shimmer shimmer and shine this side not as much let's do this side again this side needs more but see like i was saying this ornament only takes a few seconds it's a very simple yet beautiful ornament I didn't mash this side around like I did the other because it gets tricky. The diamond dust does not dig into you until you go to apply any pressure to it. So if you're picking up something that has weight to it or trying to put weight down onto something, then the diamond dust will get you. It'll get you. And once you have it like this, you guys, spray it with hairspray so that your diamond dust doesn't flake off. Pretty, pretty. Yeah, that one's super simple. And then see if you see it against the black. It's beauteous. 
Now I can print a sheet of like six of these, you guys, at a time. So if this is something, it's either six or eight. So if it's something that you're interested in, send me a message. Um, it's on the eighth inch wood. So I have to look up the sheets of eighth inch. It's more expensive than the quarter inch, but the quarter inch won't cut like this. It won't cut the same. It incinerates it. But there's one, and that's a beautiful, beautiful ornament. Let's hang it up to dry. And then we'll spray it with hairspray. I'm going to leave my diamond dust in here because we might use it again. Thank you, Weezer. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Sheila. Yeah, get horses, they say. It'll be fun and easy, they say. <laughs> it's free, they say. <laughs> they lie. Gooey, leave her alone. Leave her alone. Let her breathe. Give her some space, man. Okay, now, do you guys want to do the reindeer or the snowman? Reindeer? A snowman. Reindeer? A snowman. No buck, no bite, easy keeper. If you can throw your leg over it, you can ride it. <laughs> Sheila says reindeer. Sheila says reindeer. Grace Mancioni says snowman. We need a tiebreaker. I just found another little ring. One for snowman, one for reindeer. All right, Deb. I'll send you some info. Like I said, I've got to look back up what the pricing was on the eighth inch. You would think that the eighth inch would be less expensive than the quarter inch guys, but the eighth inch, for whatever reason, through anywhere that I've sourced them through, is more expensive. I even got the bulk bulk order to get the cost per piece down as low as I could. So when babe and I did it, we did the hundred pieces of the 12 by 20 eighth inch birch wood. And you know, it's pricey. Yay. You're cutting out the pom pom template. Your bed's calling. Is dad late? Okay, we're doing reindeer. Deb said reindeer. Sheila said reindeer. Sorry, Grace Mancioni. We'll be doing an ornament a day, so we'll we'll definitely do the snowman. We'll do the snowman tomorrow. Along with what other whatever else. The pom-pom template is amazing. I'm gonna try one more big one later have you guys ever done a painting for those of you that like to paint have you ever done a painting and you just grab random things around you to dip in the paint and put onto the painting after you've spent all that time making it look gorgeous the way that you want just like that don what did you forget uh row Rot row. Now this is a like one of the rustic style looking reindeer. So we've got his two little hooves. He's got a little heart that goes on him. Um, this I think was from something else. I don't believe that this is his nose, but it might be. But he's got those little teeny tiny eyes. And I guess we can make that his nose. Nope, those are the balls. <laughs> the balls for the berry. I almost forgot. We've got to paint his eyeballs on. Okay, so Mary goes here, then we've got his little feet, and he's got his little, you can put his berry with his nose under his nose, you can put the berry up here to make it look more girly, like a bow. You need to go straighten out your booth, say hi to Tara. Hello, hello. Drive safe. Yes, it would be so much fun. And oh my God, Sheila, you start getting that like hankering to do something different. 
just start taking like all the different things. Like I brought a few things out to have with me, like my little mason jar, a little star, a round bead that has a hole on it because that'll make a different mark. Like when you roll it, I brought out this because not only does it have the circles, but it also has that serrated edge. I just brought a few things out that would be fun to add different colors over whatever the painting is. All right, so let's let's paint this guy. We've got holly and leaves and eyeballs and noses. So we don't need to paint the big part of him white because the big part of him is going to be brown. Sky's growling. She's mad. She's a big mad. So let's go ahead and use the big brush. We're going to use a little bit of white. What did I do with my other plate that had color on it? We're going to put a little bit of white in with the brown, though, to color in his antlers so that the antlers aren't the same color. So one nice big thing of brown. Now, this looks like a big ornament, but it's so light, it's not going to weigh down the tree branch unless you add a bunch of stuff to it. And it has the two holes in the antler that you put wire through versus a hanger. But if you put your hanger sideways, you can do it that way too. And we'll flip him over and we'll paint his backside too. Because you know how it is. Anytime you hang an ornament, sometimes it flippies around sideways. Bye, Deb! Drive safe. Who's driving you? I should say ride safe. Tell whoever's driving you to drive safe. Are you and Michelle going together in this? Mixing some brown with the white. You guys, I saw the most beautiful buck this morning and I had wished Babe was there to see him with me. It was absolutely gorgeous. It was an eight pointer and I got to watch it run all the way across the field. And then I'm glad I stopped the truck because it disappeared behind some brush up by the road. And it did, it popped up through that brush and came right across the road, not that far in front of me. And he was just beautiful. I don't know what had him on the run, whether he was after a female or, or what, but. He was gorgeous. Good morning, Maria. We are making a reindeer ornament. We did some Santa earrings. We did a snowflake ornament that was really super easy and fun. And now we're doing a reindeer. So this is on there. We're going to dry him up. Dry him up, dry him up. Good morning, Lori. How are you and little Mr. Rascal? Making a little reindeer. Get his little body painted. In my leg <laughs> you know you're just sitting there mind oh wow it's snow flurrying out right now we got a snow squall when you're just sitting here minding your own business and all of a sudden somebody's licking your leg and it's like huh gooey now these i'm gonna paint white hi emma are you what do i mean by an eight point buck a deer um a male deer is a buck and by points i mean that each each antler coming out on either side had four horns coming up or four barbs coming off of that so that's considered an eight point buck he was huge he was huge hello hello from the uk 
Gooey, why must you take things? What have you even got? Turd. He has a plate. He thinks he's all special with a plate. How are you? It's 27 degrees there. Oh, that's cold. That's too cold. Too cold. Okay, so these we're going to give a quick coat of the Adirondack so it's not stark white, but a white. We're going to do the tips of his. Uh, we could have left those, but we'll put a little white on there. A little bit of white on his little footy foots. And then a little bit of white on the holly leaves. Don, are you working on your blanket or are you working on pom-poms? I'll be working on pom-poms after. After. And a little bit of white on the little holly berries. Whoever made this design did not stick to the rule of three. There's not three leaves. There's not three little berries. You just finished the second template? Yeah, his antlers that... Yeah, his antlers have four prongs on each side. So then he's an eight point, they're called points. So he's an eight point buck. No, not in the, not in the winter time. They grow them right before winter and then they'll start to lose them after, if my husband were out here, I could ask him, but right now they've got their antlers. And I guess they must lose them throughout the winter at some point because that's, you know, if you don't go out and find the sheds, they're called, before the snow flies, then they get buried in the snow and the mice eat them and that kind of stuff. I'm going to paint the little bottoms of his hooves black. We'll paint his nose black. See, these are quick and easy little ornaments, you guys. You know, you can you can make them take as long as you want, or they're just a quick, easy. We'll put a little highlight on his nose, get some brown onto his little feet. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> Then we'll get some red, paint the heart red, and the Mary. Oh, Gooey. Little Mr. Gooey's into everything. Sorry, Emma. I know I totally missed part of what you were saying and really over-explained that. <laughs> It's so hard on a live. You see a sentence, miss a sentence. And we'll put some white dashes on the heart and on the word Mary. We'll put two coats of red on the Mary. You're okay, Sky. Gooey, you're fine. Everybody's fine, everything's fine. Gooey, you're okay. He probably does not feel as though he's okay, but he is okay. Ah. Okay, Weezer. Don, I want one so bad. So bad. Who else wants a mule? I want a mule. In the worstest of ways, I'm going to use some of this apple orchard for my holly berry branches, leaves, holly leaves. It's that hybrid vigor, I bet, Dawn, that gives them such a long and lengthy life. A hybrid vigor is a true thing. 
<laughs> Me too, Sheila. Oh, Lord, Don, do you think he was implying that, you know, <laughs> that we're too old? <laughs> oh, Lordy. These youngins have to be careful what they say, huh? I love them. What did Finn do? Uh row. I said a mule, not a doofus. <laughs> doofus. No, he's a smart boy. <laughs> Maybe one more coat of red. And then we'll put this guy all together. Gooey. Stop being so rambunctious. Here we go with this. And with this. You always wanted a parrot. You know, I did, or I thought I did until my mother got a cockatoo. Those suckers can bite so hard. They can bite so hard. I had a parrot once for like a couple days um, with my first husband. I had found it outside and he didn't make it. So doesn't leave your side unless he gets squirrel brain. And then he's all catch on the flip side. My sister's dog sticks to her like glue, unless there's a squirrel or a rabbit or a cat. <laughs> he is a good boy. He's a good dog. Okay, I'm going to get out some of the white. I'm going to make little stitches, just like what we did on the Thanksgiving people. I'm not going to put them everywhere. just going to put them randomly here and there. And then we're going to put some stitches down the heart. Doop, 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 doop. Some highlights on here and on the leaves. Across his little feet. We'll put a highlight on his antlers. Probably a little highlight on his face too. Just to, just to mark him up a little bit. And we need some black dots for his eyes. You know what I think is beautiful are the macaws. But unfortunately, my brain cannot handle loud, repetitive noises. It makes me very, very hostile. <laughs> and you can't, you can't ask or tell a bird to be quiet. You just have to deal with it. And I can't. So... It's not a not a good choice for me. Let's make his little dot eyes. Make him a little off center so he's whimsical and cute. Give him a couple of itty bitty little eyebrows. Itty bitty little little yellow parakeets. Oh God, no, no, parakeets are loud too. I've had cockatiels, and those aren't too too bad. And I had doves once those are loud as crap and they don't they don't stop they're constant all day long you would have thought that they'd be quiet at night no no hi gooey i feel you under there saying hello so yeah i do like all the birds my uncle has a parrot mr buddy he is amazing. My mom had parrots. Quaker parrots my mom had. Were they Quaker parrots, Don? What was Paul? Wasn't Paul a Quaker parrot? Merry and bright. And may all your Christmases. Uh, no, I don't need a stinking emu. You see what that Karen lady goes through with her emu? That thing tries to take her out constantly. I have a hard time with roosters, let alone a dang emu. 
I mean, she seems to catch her, but have you seen the bruises that woman has gotten from that bird? No way, Jose. Not fun. No, not fun. Nope. Nope. You see me go on the dark side of TikTok. Being like, no, ma'am. His little nose on there. Gooey, where do you keep going in such a rush? Stop it. She's hiding from you. She said, tell him I have a headache. <laughs> he has a headache. She, I'm going to try to, no, I'll keep it up here. Put the little, the little pieces all on. Whoops, whoops. And is it on the other side again? Everything is on the opposite side today of where I need it, guys. Urgh. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on, liar. I just saw you. You're right there. Okay. Come on, my liar. Hold on, hold on, up and down, up and down and back and forth. My wire's always been right there. Because it was in my other thing. It was in my other container that I moved. So here's the thing of like annealed wire that you can get from a hardware store. It works out really good for the vintagey looking stuff to use this if you don't want to do a beaded hanger. I love using this stuff. So just cut yourself a piece off. You're not going to be able to cut yourself a piece off with these though. They're not wire cutters. <laughs> it was a good try though. Oh, the hydrangeas. Yes. I got mine at, um, what's the name of that store? Ace. But let me tell you, have a picture ready, guys. When you go into a store saying that you want annealed wire, because they're going to look at you like a female and pat you on the head and say, are you sure that's what it's called? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes. Ace's Hardware is where I got mine. Um, and he had to ask his female manager where it was, and she showed him. <laughs> and I was like, hmm. it's called annealed wire, A-N-N-E-A-L-E-D, annealed wire, which just simply means it's been heated up so that it can be bent without snapping. I mean, it will eventually, if you keep bending, 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 it will break, but it's a very flexible wire and it's black, which is great for this type of stuff. Now you could put a couple of beads on each side, even with this, if you want to. I don't want to, I'm just gonna put swirlies. So, and take a paintbrush. Wrap it around and around and around. Give it some swirlies at the top. Pull it out. See how that's a see how that's a swirly now? Oops, can you see it? Can you see it? Nope, this way. And then you take your ends after you put them on. Whoops! Don't knock your pieces off. They're not dry yet. Stick your ends in. Gooey! What are you doing? It always reminds me of an Arby's hat after it's on and it's been wound around. Now that's going to be too hard for me to get it going without having that leverage. So just start it with your pliers if you have to. Or use your needle nose pliers and give it a bend around. Just make them squiggly like a piggy tail is supposed to be. Although, Don, we know the story of piggy tails, don't we? There. 
Tida! Whoops, where is he? There he is. How stinking adorable, right? You can put whatever type of hanger you want on these guys, but where it's vintagey and it's bigger, I'm going this way. Or if you want to see it on the bigger screen, I'm going this way. So there's that little guy. So we did our, and I'll spray that one with a clear acrylic because I don't want to paint around all the letters and everything and have it pool. So there is our deer. Here's our snowflake with the shine. Look at the sparkly shine. Ooh, there it goes. And I will spray this with hairspray so that the diamond dust stays on it and doesn't drop off on anything or anybody. Whoops. There's one of the Santas. Is he dry? So I don't know, Weezer. There's, you can see like a little bit of a difference right there. So I don't know if it's just where I had it on thicker and not as careful. But guys, here's our little earrings. We've got the one pair and the second pair. It could probably use more coating on it because it's still not very shiny. But there's all of our upside down Santa Clauses. So there's our projects for today, guys. Dawn, I'll call you after if you want. Guys, have a fantastic day. We'll be back again tomorrow with more ornament of the day. We'll do the snowman tomorrow so that Miss Sheila can see the snowman. And I will see you guys throughout the day in other lives and stuff, I'm sure. So thank you all for being here. I appreciate it.